It's The Rundown. It's presented by Owens Mixers. Owens Craft Mixers makes anybody turn into a craft bartender just like that. Uh, you can make any craft cocktails in the safety and privacy of your own home. It comes pre-bottled. You can do the cucumber mint lime mix. You can do the margarita mix. You can do the strawberry daiquiri mix, dark and stormies, the ginger. I mean, every uh, the transfusion for the four play boys, anybody out there golfing, uh, any you know, high class quality cocktail right there available in the big bottles, in the six pack bottles. So uh, no matter what the occasion is, no matter where you are, you can make yourself some nice cocktails. Uh, the transfusion is that crisp, refreshing flavor of uh, grape and ginger. You mix it with a little uh, New Amsterdam vodka, it's perfect. Whatever liquor you want uh, to drink, you're good to go. Go to owensmixers.com, use promo code BARSTOOL15 to get 15% off. All right, we got this Rudy Giuliani Borat thing popping off. It's fucking crazy. I don't know how Sasha Baron Cohen pulls this off. I can understand it like 20 years ago, but now it seems crazy to be able to pull these off. But the latest victim is Rudy Giuliani. He's in the movie. Uh, the whole scene is supposed to be Borat's 15-year-old daughter is interviewing him. He's kind of being a creepy old man because he's a creepy old man. And then at one point, they go to the bedroom, which she probably should not have done at all in the first place. She's taking his mic off, which forces him to untuck his shirt. And then he leans back on the bed to tuck his shirt back in. And so there's a compromising picture of him with a girl. And he's laying on a bed with his hand down his pants. It doesn't look good. It's, uh... If you watch the full scene, does it... So the full Still scene, full no, scene just watch the full scene. Awkward. It, it, it's awkward, but it's not like when you see the picture, it's like, oh my god, Rudy Giuliani's like about to get his dick sucked by some chick in a bed in a in a in a hotel room. Yeah. When you watch it, you realize it's not that, but it is like, dude, what the fuck are you doing? It actually does. There, there are definitely parts of that. There are other parts where I like feel bad because I'm like, oh, it looks like you're taking advantage of an old man. Yeah. Which probably means like he shouldn't be in a position of power because it's just like, oh, like, you're a goofy I, old I, man. I, like, I feel bad for you because you're just an old weird person. Right. But like when she keeps touching his leg, she's she's baiting him in. Yeah. Very very and much. And he's so. like, she says like, let's go have a drink. And they're, they're in like a hotel suite. The interview is at like the, the living room portion. And then she's like, let's go have a drink in the bedroom. And he's like, okay. It's like probably shouldn't do that. See, I would do that because I'd feel rude if I didn't. Well, I, like, I think if you're in that position, you can't. I, if there were if cameras, it, you know. I'd probably be like, I don't know, like, and he's weird like, with the cameras. He's like touching her someone... on the hip, and he's like, so you'll give me your phone number and your address. It's like, oh, I don't know, man. Does Rudy ever see Sasha Baron Cohen? Like, does he ever? Yeah, Sasha, Sasha Baron Cohen comes out. in the room in like a very funny way. Like, like I mean, a wig and like a underwear of sorts, like yeah. a kind of like a lace top. And he says to, he says, to, I guess... I don't, you I don't have to know the whole, the whole plot. I guess the, the idea plot is he's trying is, to marry yeah. off his daughter. Yeah. And then Sasha Baron Cohen bursts in like, no, 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 don't do that to her. Take me instead. He's like, take my back pussy. It's very fine. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, yeah. I would hope that Rudy would like know of Borat by now, just because that. No, he doesn't look like Borat. No, yeah, he, oh, he, yeah, he looks he, like a like a Ukrainian. He's uh, got like a long cool. beard and like long hair. Uh, it's a totally yeah. different look. But something for sure is up, and like he just keeps going with the interview, I think, because it's a pretty girl. Well, what I don't know is if he knows she's she's supposed to be 15, and yeah. I don't know if that's ever I, actually It doesn't seem like it him. because he says it at the end. Right. Like, Borat right. comes in at the end and is like, she's only 15, and it's like, it's, it's clearly an adult woman, and then... She does not look 15 at all. And then it's like, I don't know, I imagine she's like a professional actress. Who's sure, in I'm this assuming. movie the yeah. whole time? I don't know. She does not look like a fifteen year old. It not looks even like close. it looks, like, it looks an like, like an adult woman. Adult woman. But um, but so it's more like this is Rudy getting caught being like weird, creepy, and dopey. But he's not. I mean, people are like he's gonna get thrown out of office and all this shit. Yeah, the, the like the the Twitter trend is like he's jerking off. He's he's just the, very clearly not. The still it's clearly released for proper not propaganda but for promotional oh, yeah. purposes. Yeah, like like uh, like oh why to stir up the music stuff for Borat. As he yeah. like, puts like he, the his hand down his is, pants, it's like dun 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 dun. Like it yeah. zooms in, but he's clearly just tucking his shirt in. He's this, I mean it's a weird thing to do. Like I'm an old man, like I have to lay back on the bed to tuck my shirt in. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, yeah. I would absolutely not, stand like, up and tuck my shirt. In. Right, you're not like he's made people look a lot worse. I feel like yeah, yeah. When, it's when you actually. Say something like yes. he's, he's gotten people to say extremely Bad racist shit. things on right. camera. And then, but I yeah. will say, all of that happened in a very different era. Even this, in this era, as bad as it, yeah, as bad as it's not happening in 2020, I think it makes it oh, one of the worst. And, and you know? they're, they're they definitely only released the picture on purpose. Yeah, because mm -hmm. if you watch the scene, it's not. 
it's yeah, weird. It's, weird. it's, not, it's yeah. not like a totally normal interaction by any right. stretch of the imagination. But it's not a guy laying in bed jerking off. It's not a guy trying yeah. to grab his dick. He's, if you want to get rid of him because he's weird and creepy, this is a good video. If you want to get rid of him because you think he like you know had sex with a 15 year old girl, you're gonna be you're gonna be upset. Yeah, yeah. yeah you're sort of I, I, I knew that. Look, I, I knew yeah. there was a reason only the picture was out rather than the scene. Yeah, yeah. Because the scene. But is, that, I will that's say this. a much different story. But it tells a different story. But I mean, the fact I don't know how how he does this. I mean, like he gets into the room. So he gets by security, gets into the room twice, like, I think and it's Rudy Giuliani, who's no slouch. I mean, he's not like what he used to be, His production team reaches out, and they just, like, act yeah, very you do professional. This, actually. So how do you do this stuff? Well, I don't really do it. Like, I just did an interview a couple of weeks ago, but we never had the guy sign the form. Mm. And so now it's like I, I sent him the form to sign. It's like now I don't know if he's going to do it, because mm. I think by the end of it, he could tell it was a weird interview who like, was or can you not say huh or i can't can describe say like yet. what it was what, what realm a, is he in he's in the political realm okay. of sorts it's donald trump <laughs> yes um but no we like we're not even gonna make him look that bad but i just i don't know he hasn't got back to my email. i mean if i ever so got you always gotta like have that. people like, sign whoops, first i forgot to get the release and i'd probably just yeah. be like well because no. I think he just has a crazy contract, and once you sign the release, he can like. But do he could in the scene because we we we've seen the scene. And the scene's not out, but yeah. Ken Jack had it, so we we've, we've seen the scene. In the scene, security is stopping him in the lobby of the hotel. So then he goes like so he, he goes he, like through the basement. He goes through the basement like around. in with like the the service elevator or something oh. like that. But again, with but he, also being so, like, filmed. Rudy yeah. didn't like even it's... know that like. I don't think so. This was going to happen? It no, wasn't no. like a planned it's, interview? It's not like he was in the... No, it was a planned interview with her. Oh, okay. But he, like, Borat or Sasha Baron Cohen was not in the room until like the very end. Oh, wow. The goat, man. He's fucking unbelievable. Mm. You know? I mean, I, some of that stuff, that gotcha stuff is like, it's a slippery slope. Sometimes it can be funny. Sometimes it can be like, man, you're just yeah. fucking with people. But when you're doing it's, it to it's like... It's a trend on TikTok right now. It's tough to do gotcha it. Like, stuff. With, it's 16-year-old girls go up to old men. And, and they like seduce them? They don't tell them their age. And they're like, what do you think I am on a scale of 1 to 10? I mean, and that's like, not that funny. And they're like, would funny. you take me on a date? Like, would you fuck me? And it's like... <laughs> but, uh, the, the only clip I've seen is a guy being like... Uh, he says he says he's like he's like very uncomfortable, clearly. He's like 10. Yeah. And she's like, would you take me on a date? Would you take me out? Would you still like, spend the night with me? Whatever. And he's like, no, no, no. You're too young for me. And she's like, congrats, you passed. Yeah. It's like, it's like I don't know, man. Like someone could just be saying something polite so you get the fuck away from him. Yeah. And right. like you have like millions of TikTok followers. Like this old man said he'd fuck me. He's like he was sitting on a bench <laughs> buying his own goddamn business, dude. Yeah, like, right. <laughs> I mean, come on. There's a big difference there. Yeah. People who do gotcha videos scaring their coworkers are real fucking assholes. <laughs> Kate didn't even hear it. She got me yeah. again. You know that, right? Mm. We do. Yeah, you too? It, it sucks I mean, when, like, I, you... I feel like she's going to get me, like, five times before Halloween. I had I had my hands in my pocket, so I, luckily I didn't come up like this. Yeah. But, but I still, like, jumped back. <laughs> she that. tried to scare Dave. I don't I don't think it worked. Didn't work? Really? Yeah. yeah. He called yeah, me Dave's a sociopath. Yeah. yeah, she said Dave is very Fuck. unflappable. <laughs> That's uh, not good. But, yeah, I was just you saying, it, it sucks to go, like, when you're going into do an interview and like when you know that you just want to make them look bad it, it feels so weird like i can't yeah. i can't do it unless it's a person that's like really sucks yeah. and you'd like w well <laughs> 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 yeah. if you waited one more second he would have been he would have kept looking this way yeah yeah i i feel like hey 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 you want to shut the fuck up <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you, do you, I, I would feel bad doing that to people. Yeah, no, I, yeah. I do. It has to be like, yeah. if I get, I get very cringy, like even watching Sasha Barrett. I, I don't think I've ever done it really yeah. in like a video, but I get cringy watching. It's a fine line yeah. between like fun yeah. shit and like, this fun. Funny, like, I mean, if anyone deserves it. I was going to say, if you do it to scummy like, politicians, then like, who fucking cares? Yeah, I think he, he did something to Sarah Palin and that was the one video that was like not allowed to, to be released. Oh, really? I don't know. For if, this movie or the last movie? Uh, this was for his show, This Is America. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. God, and remember I that think one where he got that guy on his knees, like, like sucking his dildos? Dick? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Crazy. Uh, in the world of soccer, we got this sex scandal with uh, Aaron Juan Basaka. Uh, Aaron Juan? Does not play for Liverpool? I don't I know. I know he's Basaka. Aaron Basaka. He has a girlfriend named Rihanna. He's fucking a girl named Marley. She comes out and says, hey, he's cheating on his girlfriend with me. Oh, and he has a baby on the way, but it's not with me, and it's not with his girlfriend. It's with another girl. 
and that girl used to fuck Sway Lee, and the other girl used to fuck his teammate. So this dude is caught up in a whole fucking shitstorm, and then he went out there and he just dominated. He put Neymar and Mbappe in his back pocket, as they say in soccer, and it just doesn't, nobody in soccer even cares. It would be like a massive fucking scandal if this was happening in the NBA. And it's so just he, like, they played you know, PSG yesterday. So is the Champions League guy? Sure. He's on Man U. He's on Man U? Yes. Okay, so that wasn't yesterday. I think PSG played yesterday, but it was Champions League. So this past weekend? I guess so, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, and it's just like, oh, know, maybe he's 22. Was, maybe he did play Man U. He's 22. Game. He's like the fifth largest contract in Man U history. 22. And then, oh, so this, this is the best part. So the girl puts out her Instagram. Then the girlfriend leaks their Snapchat conversation. And they're breaking up uh, on Snapchat. And she's like, you owe me. Like, you're treating me like less than human. She's like, I moved here for you. You were sick. You needed me. I moved here. You owe me. And he goes, the line everyone's loving is, I don't owe you anything more than safe transport back to London. People are just loving Wait, that line. you moved from London to Manchester? I don't know where, where, <laughs> where they're is talking, that? Yeah, but... It's, it's a yeah. 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, yeah, he's basically like, I owe you a fucking train ticket. England's and, like the size of what? And she... Fucking Maine? Yeah, it's not... It's, I, I don't know if that's where she moved from. I don't I don't know. But, like, she she is expecting a lot. And he's like, this is not how it works. And she's like, yes, it is. He's like, I don't know, you shit. And everybody is just, like, rallying for this dude who's just, like, fucking everybody, getting people pregnant, banging his teammates, uh, girlfriends. Like, doesn't matter at all in soccer because it's a fucking... I mean, if you're not getting involved in, like, coke-fueled orgies and you're not, like, Ronaldo's evading taxes, you got coaches who are banging other guys' girlfriends. I mean, it's a, it is a shit show in soccer and nobody cares. Europeans fuck, man. Yeah. Yeah. I'd say if you could pick one sport to be a superstar in, what would it be? Because soccer is way up there with the money and the, like, don't give a fuckness of the world. I mean, it, I, I think it's a no-brainer soccer. Because the international value? Uh, the, the international. I, I was going to say soccer or tennis. Yeah, because the yeah. international value. I mean, it's it, the money is insane. And you're all, you're automatically like shredded. And all that money you hear is actually the money they get. Right, pr- pr- it's, after it, taxes. It's not like in America when it's like, yeah. oh, we got a $100 million contract. Well, 50 of it goes to the government. Right. They announce their fucking post-tax yeah, money. The money you so take those crazy home. contracts Jesus. are those contracts going in their fucking pockets. Yeah, it's absolutely bananas. What, uh, what, what, is there any, like... Asian uh, superstar you would Well, I know to be. in China, like, it's it's the football players, the soccer players that get yeah. paid the most. It's a difference between $30 million a year or the best basketball players in China might get, like, $1.5, oh my God. So, yeah. It's not even fucking close. Yeah, it's not even close. So well, they have, like, their own league? Like, there's, like, yeah. a Chinese They have their own league, league and they've yeah. been paying crazy money to get a bunch of stars from Europe. So mm. when I was there, Drogba was, was right. playing for Shanghai. Huh. I guess they all hate playing out there. But, I can imagine I mean, that, but cash. Yeah, but talks. if you're in a city like Shanghai or Beijing, it's it's fun. You know, they right. still have everything you'd be looking for in terms of restaurants, clubs. Mm. And, I don't know. get if this guy was, if it was like Ronaldo, and he's like 40, whatever how old he is, late 30s, whatever he is, and like he has an established family life, and like that's one thing. You're fucking a 22 year old soccer player. You, yeah, you, you, you know what's in You got another deal. He, I mean, he it, literally doesn't know you ship a transport back to London. Yeah, and it, uh, if this girl's really pregnant, like, you gotta take care of your kids, obviously. But, like, if you're a 22 year old international soccer superstar and anybody thinks that you're having, you're in a monogamous relationship, you're fucking insane. <laughs> That's on you. That's just a, yeah, yeah, you're just a naive idiot. World Series? Yeah, we got the World Series. Mookie Betts went off. Jared was trying to downplay it. Like, I don't see what the big deal was. I mean, dude. He did it all. He did it with the bat. He did it with the glove. He did it on the base pass. He was a fucking electric. Last I mean, he there was one where he just he just generated a run by himself. That was what he was trying to downplay. And I get what he was saying. They were like the first player since Babe Ruth to do this. And it's like it is a. He said it's a Jared stat, which is what it is. A walk and two, a walk. He's the first player since Babe Ruth to have a walk and two steals in an inning, which is a very quirky thing. It's mm-hmm. not like we we walk around. And look, how many times did you get a walk and two steals in an inning? But the reason they're talking about it is because he. Generated a run but without having a bat or a glove in his hand. He did it. He still walk, did it. Walk, steal second, steal third, score ground run. out to first. Steal, score a run gets, that gets, was, yeah, it wasn't that like no a sack fly that anybody could score Very on. few people right. score that run. So, like, you know, you're down to the final. You're in the World Series. There's only a limited number of innings. And in that inning, you manufactured the whole thing. So, and then he hits a home run. I mean, obviously, he's going to get a lot of attention for it. So, tough for Boston. I said it before. It's I said tough for Boston. Night, there was, I had a retweet last night that was actually pretty... Pretty nice. Because, like, everyone wants to rub it in for Boston. Be like, oh, look who you could have had. 
Guess what? You're gonna have to listen to us bitch about it for 12 years. Yeah. So <laughs> right, you, are you right. really gonna come out on top who, of this who one? Who really wins here? I'm gonna, who really for 12 loses? years, for the next yeah. decade plus, I'm gonna be bitching about Mookie Betts. It are is you, tough, so man. To, you're gonna be excited to, to hear that? To have proactively traded away a pitcher like that, uh, a player like that, is fucking brutal. If you, if you I didn't watch the game. In protest. Yeah, and the other side, uh, Kershaw, like, Kershaw did his thing. Needs to probably do it again. I saw our boy Pauly Paps had a good tweet. What would you sign for right now if you are, if you're Clayton Kershaw? A sweep and you win the World Series? Or you get to start game five with a 3-1 lead? Oh, I take game five. I mean, so you got you want the chance to win. Yeah, you want the chance to have your personal glory with you know probably you're gonna win the World Series at a three-one lead. But I want the chance to lock up the MVP. Right. Because because right. it, it's what he yeah. went. He went seven scoreless last Six. night. Six. Six and, and one. And, 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 and give a home run. run. Yeah. So, so it was a good start. I mean, it was a very good start. I'm saying it wasn't like he he needs more. It was to, it was the highest swing and miss rate. It was of, great of, yeah. in World Series history. Oh wow. Was, but all that being said, he still needs if that he needed to throw like a complete game shutout to have a one start MVP type thing. Right. If he wants to win an MVP or he wants to like put to bed that he he needs another, another good start. If you win two runs, if you win two games, I don't as long as they're good starts and this was this wasn't a a, a world beating start, but it's a good start. Okay, now it's, game 5 2-2. Two, two. No. And so I give, give me the round. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you, you, the first thing you got to do is steal Even if I win 3-2, we can still lose that series. Yeah. If I, if I, if I, if I have the, the, the opportunity to close the door in game five, I'll yeah. take that opportunity. And you're on the mat, yeah. If it's me going up 3-2 and then we can lose the next two, which you probably won't if you got Bueller going six, but I would I would rather I – w- I want the chance to close the door. I don't want the chance to go up 3-2. I feel that. And And – 3-1, you would hope. And I'm not speaking for me, because personally, I want I the fucking the sweep. Uh, but you, if you, I'm you Clayton do Kershaw... Need, yeah, that's why, I don't know. Getting the ring is, like, the first and foremost. you got to, like, lock that up. But I think 3-1 is a nice way to dabble with both. Yeah. But you have to get that ring. You have to get the ring. I would... They're not going to, because Tom Brady lives in Tampa Bay. But it is... It is. It would be nice to have the chance to... We'll see what happens in game two. People are already jumping on, like, well, now the Dodgers might sweep. And it's like, all right, calm down. One game. Starters are going to be different. You haven't seen Snell. And Snell's going tonight, right? Yeah. yeah. So everyone's going down. Uh, all right. Last topic of the rundown. We got uh, we got Vaping a, a vapor. TikTokers. We got Zoom. Team Vape over Something here. Something I can talk about. Bryce <laughs> Hall, <laughs> TikTok superstar, got in a fight at a restaurant after the server asked him to stop vaping in the restaurant, which I guess is illegal. In is it illegal? Like is that chocolate? I think it's. Yeah. Um, no, this is not chocolate. It actually does it, smell like it, chocolate. It, it is tobacco flavored. Maybe Cuban tobacco. Oh, okay. Ah, okay. Yeah. okay. So he gets in like this scuffle. I couldn't really see which one he was. I think he's got a really long neck. That one looks like a giraffe. On Dave's podcast with uh, Dave's a 45 year old man who does a podcast with TikTok stars, he said, he, "What was the quote, Kev? He said he's trying to use his brain now." Yeah, he's like, "I'm still, I'm still a bad boy, but I'm starting to use my brain." I'm still a bad boy, but I'm starting to use my brain. Well, in that case, <laughs> it is pretty bad boy to still get in fights at restaurants. How for old not- is he? Yes, but just vaping at a 21? restaurant. 21. Yeah. All right, so maybe he was drunk. Doesn't quite make you a bad boy. And then you give him the pass. If yeah. Drunk and fight yeah. If you're drunk, you get a pass. <laughs> <laughs> you you're, you vape you vape in restaurants? I do. Uh, I vape in restaurants. What, what, and I vape if a planes. server came up to you and said, "Stop." Bar. Yo, yeah. I've been I've I vaped at like a Broadway play one time. I was told to stop, but I always stop the first time I'm told. So you just push, I usually, push the envelope. I push then, yeah, yeah. I push the envelope, but I like yeah. Vaping's not worth getting in a fight over. Have you ever, have, has it ever, has there been words? Has it ever escalated? Has there ever has been there... words? No, I mean, I'm more just like, yeah, I know, I'm a loser. I'm like, <laughs> sorry. I mean, um, you know, Sass wrote the blog. He said, you know, he's a savage. Bryce Hall's a savage. And uh, telling a man to stop vaping is like, what you say? He said, t- telling like Bryce Hall to stop uh, vaping is like telling a man to stop being a man. It's like telling a man to like you know take it's like taking away some dude's manhood, right? I said it's like telling Dave Chappelle to stop being funny. Yeah, you, you say you say Bolt, stop being so fast. Yeah. It's just you know Bryce Hall can't do that. No. Yeah. Is, is Hall a sway or a hype? Sway house. Sway, sway house. Sway house. And, 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 and who you you roll with sway house? Yeah. Yeah. I'm an aspiring sway house. Aspiring member. sway house guy. Yeah. Totally savage. One day. Have you uh, have you had any like interaction with these guys? Uh, one time I made a TikTok making fun of them, and Bryce Hall commented, like, the laughing emoji on it. Okay. Hey. Hey. Subware. That's a step. Yeah. It's a step. Yeah. That's a step. So the goal is one day to, to vape with them? 
Well, yeah, maybe. I'm not much of a vaper myself, but no. if that's well, what you it takes. Be, if I've never takes, vaped and not coughed everywhere. Yeah. I've never that's been tough. able to hit a vape pen. So Wait, if I pack a lip, is... like, I'll get super nauseous. Like, yeah. I'll, I'll puke, but I can vape all day. I, the, every time I vaped, which I thought immediately the followed by really a coughing like, It doesn't make you cough, right? No, there That's are why like... you can blow fat clouds, bro. Oh, yeah. I, like, I see There's people... so get, much smoke in your mouth, it's still coming out. That's yeah, crazy. it's outrageous. <laughs> I think ridiculous. I accidentally... I do need to tone down the vape, because there have been times I've blown a cloud, and I'm with my girlfriend. She's like, you blew it directly in that guy's face, and <laughs> he's clearly pissed. Like, uh, I mean, some of them are like... It's like a goddamn smoke machine. Yeah. Right? It's ridiculous. I saw people doing like a vape competition to yeah, see who could blow the uh, longest clouds. Yeah. And then there are the people who do cloud tricks. Right. Those uh, are the yeah. biggest losers on the planet. Well, except for Machine Gun Kelly. Yeah, that was cool. <laughs> yeah. I was at a ski resort once and a guy like walked up and he was like, You know how big of a douche you look like with that thing? I was just like, <laughs> You know what yeah. I saw the other day? Point. I saw a guy ripping an old school sink, an old school heater, and he just pulled down his mask, took a hit. Put the mask back up and then blew it out. He like hot boxed himself with oh, his Oh, that just means mask. your mask just reeks of oh, yeah. cigarette just smoke. Disgusting. All day. But with an old school like Marlboro, and I was like, you know, you just don't see that much anymore. Yeah. That guy's fucking cool. I actually cool, never man. bought into, I never thought like smoking looked cool. Oh, it's cool. Uh, but it's cool. I do now. Yeah, it's, it's so cool. rare. Yeah. Like when it was like when we were younger and it was like, oh, smoking really makes it look so cool. I never really. No, it's cool. I, I, I wasn't like anti smoking, lip, but like, yeah, what's up, man? I was yeah. just like, I just didn't think it made you look impressive. I didn't think it made you look like a loser. I just didn't think, oh, it's James Dean either, what, no, either way. No, but now it's like. But now it's because of the rarity of it. It yeah. definitely. You just stand I, out. For some reason, I think the mask hanging down makes it look cool. Yeah, you're going <laughs> to. It's like, yeah, man, I'm breaking the rules. Yeah, I'm saying, you got a little yeah, cigarette yeah. break. Yeah. Uh, all right, that's it for the for the rundown. The after show, there's a change.org petition to stop the Barstool Sexiest Halloween Costume Contest. Oh? Uh, I believe 159 people have signed it um, because, you know. That's of, like the world all we the live problems in. in the world? Like, <laughs> concerned about that? Like, and you know, you know who, like, does not want this to stop? The girls who get thousands of dollars. For what I don't understand is, like, it's not like we're taking people, as far as I understand. Like against their will. It's not like we're just taking random, it's right. like you're. You submit. You submit yourself. Yes. We reach out to the people who the pictures are. So it's if like, a, they, these, these are If a girl wants to be a model for money, why would you take that? Especially Crazy. in times like these. Everybody when fucking, the unemployment line is yep. as long as could be. It's like fucking. Go off, it's, it's like a line at Comic-Con, the unemployment. And these girls are trying to fucking afford some more ramen and some fucking Jägermeister shots. And you're, you're, you're depriving of them that. It's really, you know, it really, if you're anti this contest, you are anti money and capitalism and safety. And However, having said that, I would prefer if this contest was dressed up dogs. <laughs> Submit your best dog, your hottest dogs. Well, and the money well, goes to the dog. Let me walk that one back. Okay, your buddy. best dressed dogs. <laughs> I need to find the sexiest dog in America. <laughs> let me see. Give me your hot we posted dogs. one today of a dog uh, dressed as a chocolate lab in a s'mores costume. Fucking adorable. Adorable. Good, really, good really answer. cute good, picture. Good, good word. Not there. sexy. Yeah. I don't want to fuck Super the, hot the, dog. the s'more. But it was just that. I, I stared at that longer than I'd stare at someone dressed up as a slutty nurse. Because guess what? Pornography exists. <laughs> Hell yes! <laughs> yeah, that's the rundown. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah! <laughs> Definitely. That dog looks 15, man. I'm out. <laughs>